Well, after almost two years of flawless operation, um, something's going on with this filter. As you can see, the water level has dropped down in the liner right there, and that's not supposed to happen. So I discovered that the filter was not cycling. Um, the sensor probe or something is causing um, the thing to shut down. And so um, I took it out and cleaned up the probes and the sensor, but nothing happened. It's still in the on position. So when I switch it off and put it back on, well, let me un un let me re remove the lid to kind of show. But basically, ah, here we go. Basically, what's happening is, for some reason, it is not detecting the probe, and so when the water level was low, it's not cleaning. All right, let me see if I can lean this thing backwards a little bit. I don't want it to fall. All right. See right now the water level is kind of even with the pool, I mean the pond. These probes here, I had taken them out. I mean, could you just yank it out real quick? I took them out and washed them. Wow, it's kind of, I jammed it into kind of hard, huh? See, I took these out, cleaned the inside, and they were totally fine. Oh, I don't know if the alignment is supposed to. Well, it doesn't, I don't know what, what the cause is. I took them out, put them back in. For some reason, it's just still not working. It, and there's like literally no damage. It's just a piece of stainless steel, so. And this little shut off, a uh, floating switch right here. Nothing's blocking it, so in normal operation, it's not sinking, it's floating up. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, I see it's actually floating up, and then when I push it down, it goes down, but naturally it flows up, so nothing blocking it. But I'm gonna turn on the filter, and we're gonna see the water gets sucked down, but it's not spinning the drum. But the manual cleaning cycle works. There you go off I'm gonna switch it to on and let's watch see that it gets sucked real quick the screen is dirty so it's not spinning but yeah see it's not triggering the spin cycle and obviously when the lid is off actually it actually doesn't trigger it but yeah and the flow switch shuts off the power and the water fills back up to the pond level. So I don't actually know what's going on here. Um, but yes, um, supposedly when the lid is closed, uh, I mean open, it, it doesn't spin the, the, the spray bar. But the manual cleaning cycle is gonna work. So before I do that, let me demonstrate again. I'm gonna shut this down and then So I got this thing lined up right here so I don't mistake because that's where the sensor is. I'm going to shut it off again and then turn it back on. We're going to hear the pump going, watch. See? See that water? That's a pump going. And it's going to shut off again after the water gets drawn down. Yep, see, it shut off. So, we're gonna take this out again. Gonna use a manual cleaning cycle to show that the spray bar and the motor still works. Okay. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it to the manual. Oh. Manual cycle works. Okay. 
so because right now it the screen is clean the pump is gonna run for a bit and then it's just gonna stop again um, I opened up that box I didn't see any damage on the wires and the connection still good this connection still good I redid it no problem um, so I, I still can't imagine the probes being damaged for some reason because the probe is just looks like a piece of stainless steel like there's really nothing going on with them they just look like a solid steel and then they bore a hole through it that's it unless there's some electronics hidden somewhere which I don't see but uh, yeah something's causing this thing to not trigger it's kind of frustrating it's been it's been like this for like what two days now looks like I'm gonna have to uh, contact the distributor of uh, profit drum to get some help Alright, so stay tuned. I'll keep this updated.